Ladies and gentlemen, Impossible Bird. Nick Drummond, Tyler Carson, Impossible Bird, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Uh, you guys, first of all, how did you come together and form this band? We formed this band, um, 
I don't know how it happened. We were just kind of both looking for a project, I think, and, and we knew there was musical chemistry from a history of playing together a little bit, and um, it just it just worked out. It just kind of took off underneath us. Yeah, like most things in the band, it just things kind of click and went along. I was actually on tour across Canada with a friend of mine, and Nick came up and met us in Vancouver, and we had a duo jam for the first time ever, and we literally stopped, and actually the song we just played and just said, whoa, something happened. It was weird, really interesting. Yeah. Tyler, I gotta ask you about your raspy voice. Now, do you normally uh, sing, or what's, what's going on? There was on? a lot of rock and roll back in the day. Is that right? Oh, you yeah, lived I'm an old fun. fella. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, my voice went a little weird on me from singing complications about six years ago, but what ended up happening was I went really deeply into my violin playing and realized there's a huge voice in that, and that really informed what I brought to this band. He sings through another instrument. Yeah, right? yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah. When I hear acoustic duo, yeah. Guitar and violin, I think roots. You don't think of this, right? Well, <laughs> I mean, we you, don't you, got, you have a Western shirt, yeah. and you have, you know, there's some sensibility there, but it, but it's more than roots. I mean, obviously, it's like, how do you, what's, what do you try, what are you going for? It, oh, it we don't it. know. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah, we how do you answer the "What are you"? Well, question? that's a good question. I think mostly we just say, "Come and hear us." You have to hear it. Um, mm. And I mean, I grew up playing classical and folk and bluegrass and jazz and all these things. This was the first band where I finally got to bring all those influences at once. And that really opened up, I think, sonically for the voice that Nick was, was giving to it lyrically. And so this was the chemistry that, that really brought something together. And in the end, you come up with something that's unique and, you know, so then what do you call it, right? I don't suppose you saw some Dave Matthews playing around Seattle. No, I, I did. Way, I, way, way yeah, back I when, way back when, like in high school, when I started writing songs, I was I, I listened to a lot of that. But but since then, it's kind of um, you know because I get that question a yep. lot, and and it it always it still surprises me because that's not where my focus is at all. Um, and what comes out is is really just the most honest, truest thing that I can find in myself. And then Tyler helps with that. I. I don't want to alarm you, yeah. but uh, I'm noticing You're making me nervous. this other violin, <laughs> oh, yeah, it course. has a horn on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Holy which, cow, where did that come on? from? Um, well, this came along right around the time Nick and I connected as a duo. A friend of mine emailed it to me and says, are you interested? And I said, of course, I just don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's a stro violin, and basically what it is, it's a resonator instrument, mm -hmm. so like a steel guitar. Yeah. And so it's got a little tin cup in here that comes out the horn, and it makes a really disembodied kind of sound. It's like it's visiting us from another that time. Is, yeah. That's exactly uh, right, yeah. Yeah, they actually used to use this about 100 years ago to record violins into gramophones. That's why it sounds like an old-fashioned instrument. Well, I'm, I'm loving your music. Thank Tell you. me, you've got a, a, an EP yep. called Impossible Bird yep, at your website. Titled. It's on the website, it's on iTunes, it's on, you name it, you can find it. And um, it's out there and we're playing around Seattle and around the Northwest all the time. So and we're working on a new record soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we got some exciting support happening business wise as a Seattle based company. We're very excited. Mm -hmm. So we got some exciting things coming up. We're going on tour down the West Coast all summer. We'll be around playing festivals. It's starting to open up. It's <laughs> fun. Tour dates at what's the website? Impossiblebird.com. That'll that'll get you there. All right. Yeah. Thank you, both. Mr. Drummond, Mr. Thank Carson, you, Impossible Bird, thanks so much for the music. Pleasure. Thank you. Can we hear some more? Absolutely. Sure. Right. Let's do it. All right.
wash over me. On the ground, but I'm moving like the sea. Local production of Pi is made possible by BECU.